Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Thanks for joining me this morning. Cheers. Um, last episode, we were really just grinding, getting ready for strawberry season, and this episode will probably be a lot of the same. I'm hoping to make it to the Egg Festival so we can see uh, just how many strawberry seeds we can buy. Um, but I also need to do a couple missions, so like I said, uh, like I usually say I should say, we'll jump right into it and check out our missions. So we do have a red mushroom to deliver to Marnie. I will be doing that today because it's the last day we can do it, and 225 gold is pretty good. I don't know what a red mushroom usually sells for, but uh, I know that's a pretty good price. Uh, initiation, we should probably stop in at the Adventurer's Guild. I'm not too much in a hurry to do that. We'll do that when we go to the mines at some point, uh, when the times line up. Deeper in the mine, we got to reach level 40, and then building a cube, which, you know, those things will come. So, let's check the weather. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Spears are very happy today. Might be a mining day. Wolves from the crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Placing a scarecrow on your farm deters crows from a pretty good distance. Make sure you protect your available crops. One more thing. Need a bigger backpack to hold all your stuff? Check your local general store. I am... I gotta be honest. I am so sick of this small backpack. But I've been so focused on saving as much money for those strawberry seeds as possible that I refuse to buy the backpack at this point since we're on the 11th. And I think the festival's, what... On the 14th? Um, could be wrong there. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I have a tough, I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Okay, so we can do that as well on our foraging route. Look for Robin's axe. Let's put our potatoes back. We did wake up with full energy, so yesterday we did a little um, test, and I know I got exhausted. Uh, we ended up going to bed at 12, 12.10. 12.30, something like that. I ate two potatoes, had energy back to like 30, and woke up this morning with full energy. So, uh, I don't know if that impacted it or not, but I'm glad to see that. I did also put my geodes and my prehistoric skull into my inventory, so I remember to stop by Clint's. Um, what else will I need today? Definitely the watering can. And the hoe. I'm not going to need my pickaxe or axe. We did clear out the... Uh, lower right quadrant yesterday in the episode um, in hopes of making that our next area for either um, you know chicken coops or the fishing ponds or whatever it may be probably in the summer I'll start to make this more aesthetically pleasing so I'll add some paths um, fencing etc right now we're just grinding to make some money because it's it's so tough to do so early in the game so that uh, that really explains where we're at so far let's grab the mushroom because we're going to go by Marnie's place um, on our foraging run, we do have quite uh, a filled up inventory here already. I don't think I want to bring the bamboo pole. If anything, I want to bring mining gear, just in case we go mining, because we have such good luck today. So I'm going to get rid of the scythe. i got to bring that hoe. I'll drop the watering can after. I hate seeing worms, as seen here, and not being able to get it. Um, drives me nuts, so i got to bring my hoe with me. Let's go ahead and water our crops real quick. Sort of really cracks me up the way, you know, the music's just blasting in the beginning and then it just drops out of nowhere and you just hear, you know, the nice calming noise of nature <laughs> for the rest of it. And then I think something triggers when you enter a new area as well. So if I leave the farm, I think a new song probably will start. We watered those. I can't water those. Or I'll pick them accidentally. What do I need for a bee house? That's what I really want. I need iron. So I need to keep going down in the mine. I also need to get a tapper, which is copper. I need to get my furnace going. 20 copper and 25 stone. How many do I have here? So I got two copper bar. 20, I can do that. Let's get two furnaces going. 25, I think it said, stone. And then let's bring 10 extra so we can get them started right away. Let's build that. I don't know if I like the furnaces way up here. Usually I have them a lot closer so I don't forget about them. So I keep them going at all times. But uh, even watching over the last episode, I said, all right, I'm going to get my, get my furnaces going. And then I didn't. <laughs> so not the best I remember to do that. <laughs> huh. 
Excuse me. Alright. And they take such a short amount of time, I feel like I could just stand here all day and do it, basically. This will probably be our last run, though. I want to get a good start. Uh, with the forging runs and dropping stuff off, etc. So we got two. Should I start tapping? Preparing for the bee houses? Is that Should that be one of our goals, then? I also got a mayonnaise maker, but we don't even have a hut yet. I did see too, they added in brick path, uh, brick, I don't know if it's brick pavings or brick paths, but uh, 1.4 update has brick, which looks really cool. I don't know when that comes though. I usually like to add a campfire just for some light as well. Hmm. Okay, well. I don't know if that should be our priority, using two copper, or if I should focus on upgrading. Green bean parsnip. I'm surprised that our green beans aren't ready. Hmm. Okay, well, let's drop off our watering can. Like so... We'll bring the hoe, we're going to bring our sword, and our pickaxe as well. I'll think about that if we want to push for the uh, the honey or not. I mean, I think it is pretty good money at this point in the game. Say hi to our pup guy. Also, I was curious, I've seen people watering the dish every single day. I don't know if that affects, you know, grandpa's score at the end of the day or what. in here. Ew, it smells. <clears throat> Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time creeper sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Joss is too smart for her own good, you know? No. There's something moving around in there. Let me check it out. Jane Bishop to the rescue. There's nothing in there, kids. What are you talking about? Ah! <laughs> uh, I love the scared faces in this game. Alright. Let's see if Marnie's place is open right now. I can never find her when I need to find her. It's kind of weird. Alright, we'll give her the red mushroom. Hey, so you saw the ad I posted. Thanks so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. So we will get our 225 gold for that. Up to 6,000 gold now, which is nice. I do not remember the price of strawberry seeds. Um, I'm not going to look it up. I've stated in previous videos. I'm not going to be checking the wiki every other uh, five minutes for this. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I will complete this farm, but I'm not going to uh, stress about doing everything perfectly. If, if My wiki will be the comments. We'll put it that way. So anything you guys know, um, you can put in the comments and help me out. But uh, I've done the whole wiki thing before, and it's it's more of a uh, a job than you know actually enjoying the game. So I'm gonna focus on a little bit of everything, making some money, aesthetics of the farm, um, 1.4 update especially, NPC interactions. That is my plan. Oh, there's Robin's axe. I actually forgot it was so close. So we can stop by Robin's and give that to her. Why is this thing jumping up and down like crazy? Oh, okay. Just because we found Robin's axe. Kept catching my eye. So, like I said, our inventory is already full. It's crazy. It's driving me nuts. 
a pretty organized person, and I still feel like I'm unorganized because it's always full. When you got three different classes of onions, though, it's kind of hard not to. <clears throat> so I'll probably end up eating some of those. It's my girl Haley running away from me. Very lucky to have a library in such a small town. We will go right to Clint's. Since he closes at like 2 o'clock or something ridiculous. Pretty sure it's 4, but still, it's earlier than other people. Let's go ahead and eat this one. Probably eat this one as well. My fear is uh, I'm gonna have to make 10 trips back and forth between the museum and Clint's because I have limited space. <clears throat> but let's get it done. It's already noon. So I didn't want to spend too much time here if I was gonna hit the mine still. Let's go ahead and process these geodes, save the best for last. Itchy nose. <laughs> Ooh, slime. Petrified slime. I don't have enough room. So this is what I was talking about. What do I have that I can give to Gunther? One. I can't give that to him? I just sell the stuff back to him. I thought petrified slime was one of the things. Uh, maybe I already gave it to him? We'll just sell it then. I'm going to take it for what it is. Let's go take this to him. Yeah, there's our slime. Alright. No reward. Melon seeds for the summer. I don't have to take them right now, right? Okay, cool. I don't have the space, man. I don't have the space. I could eat the horseradish too. Just eating everything, even though I have full energy. I need the space. That's a different one, right? Yeah. More iron ore, cool, that fits in what I already got. One stone, come on. Looks new. One stone. Looks new. Alright, let's make another run. <laughs> this is exciting content, guys. Just exciting. The cool part is I know a lot of you guys have been through this, so you feel my pain. Alright, let's keep placing these. Hopefully this is our last run. Pretty sure it is actually. Process some geodes. Stone, joy. Another slime, joy. What? You doubled me up on slime? Come on, man. Alright, we'll sell him. There we go. Thanks, Clint. Thanks a lot, dude. Alright, let's go check out the calendar. Head up to Robin's place. Drop off her axe. Go, Granny, go. Don't judge. Just go. Joe to Cola. Alright, so Egg Festival's on the 13th. My girl's birthday is on the 14th. That's why I remember the 14th. Although, like I said, I keep calling Haley my girl, but it's up for a vote on who we go after as our marriage partner in this uh, this farm. So, let me know. I know there's love for Abigail. Speaking of Abigail, there's your mom. What if I can get Pierre to cook tonight? The, uh, the thought of every wife regarding her husband. Alright, let's go take care of Robin's axe. Drop some of this stuff off. I'm going to be right next to the mine, though. So just try to grind the mine real quick. Hey, 
Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. Hey, I heard that Louis showed you around the community center. It'd be great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. Aren't you the carpenter, Robin? Why don't you fix it up? Alright, so I gave her that. Let's see what she's got. thought her shop was different. L light string? Hmm. Workbench, okay. That's a cool new 1.4 update. So this is basically, um, you know, how you can craft things in your main menu. Uh, if you put this next to chests that are adjacent to it, you have access to all supplies that are touching, basically, uh, the workbench. Makes it a lot easier to craft things versus putting things in your inventory, taking it out, making sure you got the right things. Um, I thought it was a pretty cool update. <clears throat> hmm. Crystal path, straw, brick floor. There you go. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the brick floor in this one. Crystal path is kind of cool, but I like the brick floor idea. So 500 gold. Stone floor. Is this for your house, or is this for... I'm pretty sure I can do it anyway. Wood floor. Lamp post. Cool, cool. We'll get to a point where we're all about aesthetics. Can do some of those things. I'm tempted to go in the mine. Just because we have such good luck. Let's collect our money here. We have two days until... The Egg Festival. So, let's see how far we can get here. We're at level 30. I'm going to go ahead and put mining stuff over here and then edibles over here so I know what I got three spots man it's rough I can drop this down if I need to let's go Ooh, it's dark I need that light ring what is that windspire is that good one to five damage crit four to eight damage hmm I know it's faster but plus five weight plus ten crit power Let's try it. We'll give it a try. See if we want it or not. Oh, I hate those things. Just doing one at a time. Oh, God. Now I'm just gonna run for my life now. Where's my good luck at? Just avoid them in the dark. Probably, uh, yeah, I'm already not liking this thing. I think my way out's gonna be through one of these guys, probably. Problem is, I won't be able to see it if it is. I have to run into it. Where's my good luck, you know? I can come and play any time now. This is not good. Yay, I made it. Where's my, my light ring? I already got an X staircase, so that's good. I just take it. I wanted to see if there's anything cool down here. Free bug kill. Some copper. run for the stairs keep going down five o'clock energy is good because I ate everything I basically had in my inventory get the free bug kills because I know if you get so many of them they're easy to get obviously um, you get the achievement I really need to stop into that military guild <laughs> building Nice if I start seeing. Uh, oh dang! Look at all the copper. Oh no, my friend. That's fine. Beat me up, guy. Go ahead, beat me up. Just take him out real quick, huh? Just takes 
forever, but whatever. Just got me stairs. I got two stairs. Is that topaz? Did I drop anything? I think I already dropped the topaz off before, but yeah. I'm keeping it for the money, basically. All right, made it down to the next level already with the elevator. That's good. Let's just keep going. Yeah, I believe if you have really good luck, you get more staircases, which is huge if you're trying to just get down fast. So I usually just like to take out as many stones as I can. Because you have a good chance of uncovering one. We've already had one of those. Yep. Energy's getting short now. I don't know if we're gonna make it to 40 or not. I need a staircase pretty fast here. I hate when it gets dark because I can't see anything. Is that a staircase right here? Can't see anything. That's why I wasn't getting any. Bunch of copper ore though. That's cool. Eat these spring onions. Eat that Joja Cola too. You eat the Joja Cola. It's so thick. You don't drink it. You eat it. Gotta go, man. We just gotta go. There's that next one. Let's see if there's any cool things out here. Get these bug kills. Because. Because we can. Keep going down. Lucky with one of these, maybe. Oh. It's almost 10 o'clock. Energy is blah. There we go. Down level 40! Can finally f get to a frozen tier, guys. Yay! We'll end on that note then. Got a slingshot. I don't know about you guys, but I've never really used a slingshot for anything. Is this place already closed? I think it is. Let's see. Let's be super lazy. Yeah, it just closed. Alright. Well, we will head back to the farm then. coffee in the morning. I know you can sell things you weren't able to sell. Um, I don't know why I said it so slow. I'm trying to think about three things at once. I know you can sell things that you weren't able to sell before in the 1.4 update. Hope and Slingshot is one of them because I know you get a better one later anyway. And um, I never use it. See, it doesn't let you sell it. I wonder if I can sell it to the guild. Maybe that's what it is. I don't need room for that. Organize that, fill it up, put the geode in there. I don't want the slingshot. Mm -hmm -hmm. I miss fishing. I think we'll try to fish tomorrow. So let's grab the watering can, the fishing pole, the hoe. I think that's it. Maybe we can continue clearing out some fun things. Uh, in the lower right quadrant too. We started that in the last episode. 
mean, it's pretty close to time here, but... Oh, look at that. No, okay, so it says, hey, congrats on getting to level 40 now. You get nothing, and please continue to go all the way to the bottom. Well, thanks a lot. That's great motivation. You get nothing, and uh, you must go further, because you, you didn't do much. It's midnight, so I'll probably head back now. Get some good rest. Maybe I'll take that one of these trees. Make sure I use all my energy, right? Don't want to waste energy. You know, hit this tree the wrong way. Dang it. What a newbie mistake. I was thinking too, my last swing, I'll hop on the other side and make it fall the other way. Like a pro, you know? Like a pro. Then I realized I'm not, so just kept going. Hmm, tempted to run over there, but I'm not going to. Fill up my furnace again. Nah, I'm going to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Let's just sleep. Let me sleep. Who needs it? Night night, pup. Alright, good day. That was a good day. Good productive day. Level 3 mining, cool. We can make miner's treat. I've never made a miner's treat in my life. I know it provides a good amount of energy and whatnot, too. Okay, weather tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Ag Festival. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. I'm that person that waits until like 1.30 and then shows up. <laughs> Try to get as much soon as I can on the farm and then I just go. Spirits are very happy again. Man. They're just begging me to go with the mine. Alright. Day before the Egg Festival. Tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you would like to attend, you wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Just a forewarning, I'm terrible at the, uh, the egg hunt. I've watched videos in the past on how to do it the right way. Um, <laughs> I'm just not good. So, there's your warning. We're gonna go for it, though. I think we'll have time to do it in this episode, too. Alright, so I got 10 copper now. It's starting to feel pretty heavy, you know? Like I need to do something with it. But doing something with it usually means money. But I could also start tapping trees. So that's an option. Nice. Pick all these. Like a cauliflower getting close. I'm surprised my beans aren't done yet. Probably because I forgot to water them like six different times. Something's on my do. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave the flowers. Curious if that's even within the range of my scarecrow. It probably isn't. Let's get some things tidied up on the farm today, huh? Sell potatoes. I know we have plenty of potatoes. Parsnips. Got some of those as well. Let's keep a regular one just in case. Copper bar, we have 12 now. Let's throw two more in. Alright. Build another scarecrow. I think you can build you can buy one at the egg festival too, but we all know how cheap I've been regarding strawberries savings, so. Let's just build the cheap one here. 50 wood. That's a lot of wood. One coal, 20 fiber. Is it one coal? I think I saw one coal. Go. Let's put them over here. Just in case. Alright. What else do we want to do now? Let's fill the watering can up, put that back. We're done with that for the day. That copper is so fast. That's why I usually keep those furnaces over here. We have to move those for the time being. <laughs> Let's go do that. Okay. So I'm going to put back the scythe. 
pickaxe and the axe. I'm gonna keep those, probably go fishing. Can I pick these up with the hoe? Yeah. So let's put these over here. There we go. So much better. Alright, what else we gotta do? I was going to look into tapping trees so I could get maple syrup. My second challenge with that is I never know which tree is the maple tree versus the oak tree? Oak raisin? Yeah. So I think we're going to need two taps just to make sure. And we have enough copper and we have enough wood. So let's do that. Tapping those early is good anyways because you need that uh, pine tar and oak raisin and maple syrup for a lot of things, if I remember right. So let's go. Six of those. Is that a lot of wood? How much wood did I need? 40 wood each. So I just need four of those and 80 wood. I know there's a quick way to do this. I just can't remember how. So you guys get to listen to that just wonderful sound a few times here. Also, I didn't think you were able to um, stack tappers before. I know you can stack like beehives or bee houses and furnaces on the 1.4 update. I think tappers are part of that too. I think before they had to have their own slot. So that is interesting. We now have to put these on two different trees. So this one looks different than this one. So, what have we got? Look at that. We got a bunch of uh, seeds coming in there too. Oh, hi puppy. Sorry. We should water that for him too. Poor guy. Oh, no way. You guys are done already. Okay. Put those back. Don't worry, later on I'll be complaining about how long it takes for gold to finish up, so... I gotta complain one way or another. So my combat sucks, but look at how even I am across the board and everything else. What a guy. Haley. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need... Four stars? For her to dance with you at the... Uh, whatever festival? And, um... I don't think that's gonna happen unless you get, like, a mission just for her. So... Hmm. Egg Festival is tomorrow, so basically I'm going to have all this ground tilled up. I want to see what I'm going to use my energy for today, but I want to have it all tilled up and watered before I go to the festival. That way when I come back, I just plant the seeds and I'm done. So I actually have it tilled up, fertilized, and watered. So that is the plan. I got all this grass too. <clears throat> What can I do here? 6,394 gold. What are my missions? Ventures Guild. Build a cube. What do I want to do? Try to earn a lot of money before? Go fishing, maybe? What are the spring fish that I need? Sorry, guys. I'm going to do that 100 times. I can't remember... Puffer fish is in the summer. Ghost fish is special. Sandfish is in the desert. Wood skips in the secret pond. Sardine, I think I can catch now. Red snapper, I think, is in the summer. Tuna, tilapia. I feel like most of these I can't catch other than the sardine and maybe the red snapper. Lake fish, I know I can get these. Maybe we'll go to the lake. Bream, I think I can catch as well right now. Walleye might be a summer thing. Catfish is in the rain. Sunfish. I think I can get sunfish right now. Maybe not until the summer. Shad, tiger trout. I did get my uh, my crab. I know I have a mussel in storage. Let's, uh, let's do our route. Damn copper. Wish you could have your dog follow you. I know there was a, uh, a mod done where you could have like a fox follow you. I've seen someone do like a playthrough with that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. He just follows you everywhere you go. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's Friday. Cart's open. Let's see what you got. I'm super cheap, so what do you got? Fruit salad for $1,350. No problem. Marshmallow for bass. Cherry sapling. How much do those go for in the actual store? $4,000? That's kind of a deal. 
Dancing grass. Rare seeds are good. But not, not right now. Would be nice to find a daffodil so I can give that to Haley. Um, Abigail, if I remember correctly, likes the purple stones, amethyst, and pumpkins. I think she likes pumpkins. This would make sense. I mean, she's kind of into the fantasy type stuff, so if Abigail is in the running, then uh, I better start giving her gifts as well. I can't remember something cheap that she likes, though. I don't want to piss her off, you know? I think I'll save the uh, prepping for the strawberry seeds for tomorrow. That way, I'll probably take up my whole morning and then I'll just go straight to the egg festival. Today, I'll do some running around, fishing. I should go mining based on my luck, but I probably won't. Check the beach out real quick. Throw a couple casts out. I probably should have a, a mission posted as well. It's been a while since I had a mission. Ah, the fresh air. Itchy nose this morning. Mm -hmm. So, where are the fish at, man? I also did read in the 1.4 update, um, you can get the iridium fish. By, oh man, it's too focused. By catching a goldfish, but doing a perfect catch is how that works. So, um, if you were originally going to get a goldfish anyway, um, but you, then you get a, a perfect catch, it becomes an iridium fish. So, pretty cool. <laughs> Need some bubbles. This is taking way too long. Or I could, you know, not be cheap and buy a new fishing rod. Not until the strawberries. We made this far, so we're just going to wait. So, like, right now, if I got a perfect catch and this is going to be a gold fish anyway, then it would be an iridium fish. I think it goes up one level. So it was going to be a silver fish, but now it's a gold fish because I had a perfect catch. Kind of cool. That sucks. I feel like I'm not outside the box, but... Whatever. Is anchovy one of the things we needed? Or is it a sardine? Let's get those mixed up. both so there we go losing the favorite uh, or the perfect catch for a uh, treasure chest worth it totally worth it 10b Ooh. take it back Let's figure out what we need fish-wise first before I sell these. Sardine is what we need. I don't think a halibut is anything. This is my other one. Or herring. I don't think I need a herring for anything. 
So I need a sardine. So don't sell the sardine. Herring. Mussel, sure. Herring. Anchovy. Keep the sardine. Bait, cool. Bamboo pole is what I have. Training rod. I can only catch basic fish. Oh, I don't want that. Fiber rush rod, $1,800. Yeah, seem too cheap for that right now. Can't do it. Alright, let's keep rolling. Go lake fishing, if anything. You know, the seagulls having a good time. What a life. Check my armpit. No, you check my armpit. Good times. Good times. Nothing on the uh, mission list. Alright. There's Haley. There's a daffodil. Let's see? Sometimes it's just meant to be, you guys. No, I don't want to eat the daffodil. For me? Thank you. Oh, Haley. Thought we had something going. I thought we had something going. It's tough sometimes. It's the, uh, the dance of love, you know? Alright, let's get our sardine in there. Cool. There's, uh... Maru? Oh, they're going to the bar, aren't they? Five o'clock. <laughs> Gotta get that old people special uh, fish fry. 5.30. Starving by 5.30, you know? Alright, let's get some uh, let's get some fishing in here. Some bubbles would be nice. Get some fast catches, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen. I might have lied about the Ag Festival. I might call the episode after this one, but... It'll be like a cliffhanger for next time. Ag Festival. Will J Ambition win the egg hunt? What are the odds? Over under? Over under six eggs, maybe? Is that what you need to win? I'll definitely go on the under. I always feel super confident about my route beforehand, and then I swear I just go blind. Ooh, fisherman achievement. What to do? Is that like catching 50 fish or something? Oh, let's go to the adventure guild too. Knock that out. Oh, look at that. I got a iridium carp. Boom. We'll just fill up, uh, fill up our inventory here and then probably head back. Use our energy to keep uh, clearing out the farm. Aw oh, man, I got perfect, but I, I thought he was going to go to the, uh... Oh god. Look at that skill. Oh! Check out that next level cast. I got perfect and it was still standard chub? Come on, man. Or was that it? Either way. Disappointed. Just disappointed. That's just a regular carp. So maybe if it's regular, you can't, you won't be upgraded to anything. It's interesting. I already messed that up. The chub. There's copper ore. Boom, we're filled. 
All right, let's go to the Adventure Guild. Check that out. See what they tell us. He's back. We can buy new weapons here. I'm not gonna buy any of that yet. This is what I wanted to see though. So, three out of thirty diglets, you get something. Cave insects. Are those those flying things? Maybe it is. Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Gil's been around the block like eight times, so we don't mess with Gil. Gil knew Abe Lincoln, so just to put in perspective there for you. Yeah, I think based on the uh, the length of this episode, I think we have to call it. So next episode will be the Egg Festival cliffhanger. What is that? Looks cool. I want that. Bait I can get later. Um, it's an arrowhead. Can't leave that behind. Also, a leak right there. Tempting. Tempting, tempting. I need a chub. I know I need a chub for um, like the people bundle. Shad. Carp I need, which I have one. But not a chub. So as long as, as long as I have one chub, I'll be alright then. I do have a chub. I'm gonna keep the carp as well. Sell all these chubs. Get rid of that. Oh, I put the chubs back. I was like, what happened to my other chubs? Right. So these chubs. Keep the arrowhead. I like how it puts it at the, the end with the geodes. That's good. Put those in there. So all these onions, too. So whatever we don't need. Don't need the onions. Ooh, amethyst, okay. That's what uh, I think Abigail likes, so we'll give her one of those later. What else can we get rid of? I don't think I need flounder for anything, but it's pretty cool. Might just keep it for the, uh, the luau. Of course, those are ready. use the hoe. We'll start breaking this up. I really thought I was going to hit one of those. Need a fireplace. My furnaces go out. It gets really dark here. It's pretty scary. Have you ever play the monster map? Where like the monsters come out at night? Never done that one. Get rid of those. Can't go three white, can you? Oh, you can. 
Like I said, I learn something new every day on this thing. This is not even. There's plenty of room for strawberries. Uh oh. That's gonna bother me. One, two, three, four, five. What a mess. What a flippin' mess. Look at that. That's ugly. Well, <laughs> that is another productive day. Let's see how we ended, money-wise. Not too bad, around 1,000. 940, I'll take it. With that being said, that is going to be the end of this episode. Next episode will be the Ag Festival. I can promise you that. Thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Stardew Valley, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.